and its light camera and Africa as our next report shows you what went down at this year's edition of the film festival. Plus, check out a special appearance by newlywed actress Kemi Lala and her celebrity chef husband Frank. It was a gathering of filmmakers, directors, movie critics, scriptwriters, movie technicians and the cast and crew of the several films at the Light Camera Africa Film Festival which held at the Muson Center in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. Newlyweds actress Kemi Lala and celebrity Chet Frags made for a major attraction as the evening kicked off with cocktails. Director Emma Edosio's comic drama Casala is the festival's opening film selection. A party with a goo, no good is God. Just just a run from you. <laughs> you understand? Shall say you won't carry this motto. <laughs> See, I bring this motto, who is and flex today, enter that party with style. The film chronicles the lives of four young friends who live in the suburbs of Suruleri, Lagos, southwest Nigeria. They damaged their uncle's car in a bit to show off to other friends at a party. They become instant hustlers as they take to the streets of Lagos, looking to get cash to fix the car. You shoot music videos, and uh, we learn videos, right? And then your film starts with a music video. And um, of course, in a dream, right? So, um, I know, I mean, I'm not Fugwa, so then from making videos and Spike Jones, you feel like people. So, do you think, I mean, what is it about music videos that make you translate into, into films? And you, your, your film has a very, you know, that uh, music video feel, and it's, it's just like, you know, so, uh, I mean, what do you say about that? I, I, I totally believe that the camera should be free. I am not a fan of over the shoulder, over the shoulder wise. I feel like the camera should be living and breathing with your actor. And with that, that's why I was able to weave in and out of scenes with the camera moving. It, it wasn't pretty much based, I, I would say music videos inspired me, but I come from, especially with directors that I admire, I feel that the camera should breathe, I feel like the camera should move, I feel like the camera should should also be a form of expression, and that was what I did with my family. If I don't get that muto today, your papa, he go down. Emerging star Abayomi Alvin plays a fae, although not one of the four main characters plays a prominent role in the film. If it basically, if, it, if it's character somebody I've always loved to play, because basically casting directors, directors, producers see me and the next thing they cast me as this Ajebo guy or this guy that's from a rich family or rich kid. And I'm like, nah, man, I want to play something deep, something... Let me just cut that for everybody I show them say, well, so basically something I've always practiced in front of my mirror in my house and let's in the script came. Even though if it's if it scenes were about two or three scenes, I was like, I'm going to give this my best and let people know that there's a different part of a bio me album that they have not seen and I'm totally happy that even though if his character was like two or three scenes, it was still totally memorable. That's what I, I love about it. Getting into character involved learning a new language for lead actor Emeka Mwagborocha. It was difficult. Tunji is a Yoruba boy, and I'm Igbo, so it was quite the challenge. Um, I had to learn Yoruba overnight, and it was it was it was such <laughs> it was such it was such a very stressful thing. Edosio is satisfied with the level of reception the movie has gained within and outside the country. I am, I am so excited. Casala has traveled all around the world. We've been in 18 film festivals internationally. And it, it's, a, it's a breath of fresh air that my Nigerians, my people are, will get to watch this film. And in, in such an important festival as the Light Camera Africa Film Festival, I'm really happy to have my film shown here tonight. It was very original. It was very, and I'm really excited for the team that they could screen in Nigeria because they finally have gotten that Nigerian reaction to the brilliance of the film. It's brilliant, it's original. 
Festival organizer Ugoma Degoke believes art plays an important role in Nigeria. I'm happy because I think everything has come together. Um, this was a very difficult festival to put, on, to put together. It's the worst time in our lives as Nigerians economically. It's the best time in our lives in Nigeria creatively and the two do not mix. And as a middle person, as a curator or a producer, it's the, it's the most excruciating thing you can ever imagine. The Light Camera Africa Film Festival was founded in 2011.